Hey guys, it's Jay Snow with some Hunter Twin PvP today. And basically what I'm doing is just some random PvP for fun today. This Pandaria is of course coming out the 24th, but we're getting the, uh, what do you call it, the, what do you call that thing? The patch, the 5.0.4 uh, patch is coming, uh, what do you call it, on the 28th, which is the same time when Guild Wars 2 comes out, of course. So with that patch, we're definitely going to be getting a lot of new talents and twinking at low levels should definitely get pretty interesting because the first line of talents is actually a, what do you call it, it seems like every class gets a speed boost talent so at level 15 everybody's going to get some kind of speed boosting talents overall and then you're going to get a couple and then some classes get about one passive ability, some classes get about three it's like they get, uh, I think the hunters get the, what do you call it, let's go to talents really quick Oh, in the middle of a BG. So hunters get like efficiency if they pick, uh, what do you call it, marksmen. Like, it's very strange how it works. I'm definitely interested to see on the 28th how this is all going to go down. But as of right now, we still don't have the new towns. Okay, there goes the flag guy. Little flag guy. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. Oh, wait, Arcane Mage. Let's give it that. So I'm definitely interested to twink Jaren then. Otherwise, I think this would be a great time for anybody who still has low levels to start leveling up. Because obviously Mr. Pandaria is coming out, and at 28th you're going to be able to get all the new talents, so actually leveling a class, a brand new character now, will help you learn all the new talents for it before, uh, what do you call Mr. Pandaria comes out, which will give you a ton of knowledge, instead of trying to figure out everything all at once at level, uh, what do you call that, level 85, because I know I'm going to have to relearn, I have 20 alts myself, 20 alts, no, 20 level 85 alts, and then like two 985s, so <laughs> I have a lot to learn, but I'll definitely be doing that in the meantime. So I'm gonna get this rogue flag. Now back to the PvP, I don't even know, I think I'm doing pretty good. Just shooting people for the fun of it. This is actually my bank alt, I'm doing the transmog market. I have a video for that, I have that video for that actually out on my channel. Transmog market's been doing pretty good. You know, I net about 1000 G a day just doing 5 minutes of work. I know I can do better, but I'm on a super populated server of Sargeras where Everybody's in the transmog market, so it's like, hey, the competition has no clue what to set the prices at, so everybody's undercutting by like thousands and hundreds of G, it's pretty crazy. So, I mean, I wish I could transfer servers a little bit, I thought this server would actually be the best for me, but I think Reddit's on it now, like, not saying anything about Reddit, but, you know, a lot of people from Reddit are on it, so they look at the Reddit pages for all the info, and of course, everybody does all the gold making, and all that crazy stuff, so it gets very, very packed pretty quickly. So that's why it's very hard to make gold or do anything. I mean, the only thing Sargeras is probably good for is if you're looking for something to do. Because it's like pugs 24-7. So if you're on a dead server and you just want to do like raids and pugs and all that cool stuff. And then yeah, Sargeras is not is a good bet. Not if you horde though. I mean, there is a horde. It's mostly alliance populated, but the horde seemed to have some guild. Oh, it's pretty funny. I actually have a good WoW story. So there's this guild called, uh, what do you call it? Insidious Wrath. And I guess... Since they wanted to take over, they wanted to take over the alliance. Since the alliance are pretty heavily populated on this server, and what they do is they're a PvP guild, and they like to queue up for TV. So one day I queued up for Tolbarad, and since there's barely any horde on the server, you know all the horde can get in whenever they want. So they did a pre-made, and halfway in the thing, I noticed, wow, half the horde are Insidious Wrath. So this whole entire guild couldn't kill a pug of alliance. It was pretty funny. I got one guy on my ass like 24-7. It, it was just ridiculous. Like they were trying so Massacre. hard to win as a guild yet they Double still couldn't do it. And I was like, wow man. Like your guild is just bad. So I have my fun with them once in a while. Uh, let's see, I gotta get rid of this mage. Oh boy, the mage is not shooting me so I'm good. So let's get rid of this warrior. He's coming at me. All right now I gotta get rid of this guy. How many rogues do they have? Like I'm expecting to get shanked. I remember, get shanked. I used, to, I used to do a series on my old Massacre. rogue twink. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes. Run. Ooh, that was close. I need to heal up. Need to heal. Get out of combat. Come on, out of combat. Oh my god, that was so close. Wait, let me mount up before I die. <laughs> I always forget I have mounts. It's like, I'm level 24, not 19. I keep thinking I'm level 19. Because I didn't... I'm probably going to level this guy probably to 85... I'm not exactly sure because he is my bank alt, but then again, I also wasted a guild. I actually bought a guild for storage, and the guild is called Snow, as in J Snow. <laughs> but 
I have a, you know, I just used up a guild and I need all the bank space I can, so I'm not sure if I'll actually play this hunter, excuse me, burp, at all. Oh, Dark Moon Firewater. I forgot to use that, even though that makes me a huge target. I could also use some food. I don't have any food. If there's any healers, how am I doing? Let's go look at the stats. So right now, 10 and 0. Oh, I can actually go for Wrecking Ball if I'm careful. Because that, that's the thing, that these low levels, when they see you going, like, something in O, all the rogues just get on your ass. And right now I'm at extremely low HP, so I'm just going to try to be as much careful as careful as possible. And here comes... Nope. Oh, wow. Oh, well. You die. You know, once in a while you die. I used the... Uh, what was that? What did I do there? Like, I guess I disengaged, but I must have hit that mountain, so that fucked me up. Well, 10 and 1 is still a good score, so let's actually get rid of this flag carrier who's sitting all the way at the end of the map, just chilling there. Not sure what he's doing there. So, I guess another discussion we go into is Mr. Pandaria when it's coming out. Uh, no, actually I wanted to go into the discussion of 5.0.4 coming out on Guild Wars Day. Even though if you pre if you pre-order Guild Wars 2, you will get to play on the 25th, which is actually the Saturday coming up. And my WoW subscription actually expires the 30th. So, I'm only going to have two days of 5.0. And once again, somebody wants to... Oh, look, it's this guy again. And I am lagging. Oh, look at you. You tried the shank, but you failed. Now, what was I saying? Oh, so, uh, I have about two days to play 5.0.4, and I'm not sure if I want to resub right away, because I'm not really doing that much stockpiling for Mr. Pandaria. I mean, any major stockpiling I could probably do in the last week. That's when people are going to start dumping their crap, and that's when all the changes, all the beta changes should be done, and the beta's probably going to be down by then. So it should be all good. So I'm not sure whether to wait. Uh, this guy's all the way up there. Holy crap. I want all the way up there. There you go. Now I gotta be careful because we're actually about to drop the flag. Oh shit. Nope. Oh, come on. Kill him quick. Oh, he's getting heals and we're fucked. Alright, we lost the flag that time, so that sucked. Alright, let's see. Six, five, four, three, two, one. See, I don't really go for the flag, and he's not really care if I level. But actually, if we do cap, I'll hit level 25 and be OP'd, since nobody's level 25 in this BG. But then again, my teammates are all rocking level 20, which kind of sucks. Let's hit this guy quickly. Wasted potential? Yes, that is wasted potential. <laughs> Ironic build name. Let's get rid of this warrior. Oh, and here comes the guy trying to come and shank me. Look at him. He's, co he's coming at me, not even in stealth. Too late, buddy. Too late. Too late. That guy was just running at me without stealth. I knew he was gonna stab me. He like passed 50 people. So let's see, who am I with? Do we have any healers? That's what I'm looking for. You're a healer. No, let me stay by you. Give me some nice healers so we can get some nice scores and all that great stuff. Keep going. Looks like somebody grabbed the flag. What's this little way over here? Oh, that guy. Ally sucks balls. What a nice name. Let's feed him some arrows. Where you going, little wolf? Ally sucks balls. Are you running? Oh, prick. <laughs> and his guild is just a whore. What a whore, what a whore fanboy. I don't even want to imagine, like, the shit he talks about in the forums. Like, that is, the, that is a pure whore fanboy. Fuck the alliance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got some little warriors, man. Warriors at the lower levels, even with the new towns coming out, Mr. Pandaria. They still don't get any love with the charge. Like, I was actually looking it up right before I did this video. I was looking at the warrior talents. And it's like, they still don't... Oh, it's this guy again. Whoa. Where are you running to? They still, they're still not getting any love at the low level, so you still won't be able to charge people or really do anything. So warriors at level 19 and so on. Unless you got a pocket healer with some good communication, then you're probably not going to get too far. Oh, this guy's trying to... Oh, I forgot I had a heal. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I forgot I'm a Drain, eh? I forgot I had a heal. So I actually could have went for Wrecking Ball, but... Of course I haven't played in a long time, so I wasn't thinking of that. And who... Oh! That light sucks balls. Come on, put up a fight. Oh, now he's running at me. Alright. Too bad you don't really have anything to do. I'm just gonna walk around you. Let's see. Oh, who's this? Hold on a second. That's a... A little too many people over there. Let's back up. I'm actually getting a lot of lag. There's the back pedal. S-Key All-Star up in the house. 
option I can't use my. I was hoping usually when it's hunter versus hunter, I use scatter shot. Because most hunters actually don't think of that, and that usually gives you the lead. Because otherwise, if you're shooting at a hunter, hunter versus hunter, whoever usually has the lowest health loses. Unless the hunter has no skill, but it doesn't really take that much skill to play a hunter, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. And crap, Captain Slappy has been. <laughs> Captain. Is that really his name? I don't even know his name. Captain Slappy. I like that name. Alright, let's see. Who's this? I think it's the same. Oh, Golden Dragon that people paid $25 and wasted their time on. Time to kill him. <laughs> that mouth. Remember the, I remember the first day of this Golden Dragon mouth. I saw millions upon millions of this mouth. And nowadays, you don't see anything. Like, I remember two weeks in, I was gonna... I didn't make the video. I was gonna make a video. It was literally two weeks after that Golden Dragon came out. And I was like, I guarantee you, in about two weeks, nobody's gonna write it. So I ran around Stormwind, just looking for the mountain. This is a high pop server. So I just ran around Stormwind looking for the mountain, and nobody had it. And it was literally just two weeks after it came out. I was like, wow, why do people spend $25 on a mount? Like, I know some people, you know, rich people probably have money to blow, but still. Come on, especially now that Mr. Panda is coming out now. We're getting, like, tons of free Asian style dragons or whatever you want to call them like tons there's actually a rare spawn in the city actually there's a rare spawn dragon even though there's a whole weird process on how to actually get the dragon but there's like a dragon flying in the major city that you can get and I mean you'll just get ton, tons and tons of dragon mounts is what the point is of that right, I'm gonna get into melee range of this guy shank you with my double Two hand off, oh, I'm getting hit by Hunter. Oh, I'm in some deep shit. I'm gonna give him my group. I gotta try to get my group. Disengage. Heal, heal, heal. Yes! Fucking healers for the win. Alright, pocket healer versus other guy. Oh, Captain Slappy. Get away, Captain Slappy. And they slapping my ass. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of Captain Slappy. Alright, right, Captain Slappy's down. And we got a... Oh, what's this? Oh, the warrior again. A prop warrior, too. I thought it was arms for a second. Prop warrior, man. That, that does not work in these low-level instances. Like, at all. I think he's trying to kill my... Yeah, he killed my pet out of spite. You bastard. <laughs> I hate when they do that, when they know they can't kill you. And they just kill your pet out of spite. It's like, oh, I gotta take 10 seconds to res my pet. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, what happens to my heels? Alright, okay. Let's see, we got 18 and 3, so I'm just gonna skip the res. And we're back, it seems like it's still gonna be a full 25 minute, minute BG. It seems like nobody wants to take the flag, so we're not going to another discussion, so... Actually, I'm gonna probably roll Paladin first thing, Mr. Pandaria. I was thinking of doing Druid to make gold, because of course, the first day of Mr. Pandaria, everybody's gonna be paying out the ass for, uh, what do you call it, for the profession mats in the beginning of Mr. Pandaria, and for anybody who stockpiled gold or did any of the stupid duping and glitching that's been going on and somehow still retained their gold, you know, they're gonna pay whatever price you set for the material since nobody, you know, nobody's gonna really wanna farm them to actually level up their professions if they wanna get realm first. So I was thinking of actually making a druid so I have a druid already who has both mining and herbalism, so I was wondering, instead of rushing to 90, give up, you know, getting there quickly. I'm not going for realm first, but give up going there quickly just to make some quick gold. So I'll just run my druid to, like, one of the, like, level 87 zone or something and just try to get as much mats as possible and try to, you know, just sell them as quickly as possible. Because you can probably, I know Cataclysm, like, uh, Elementium Ore was going for, like, 1k gold a stack when Cataclysm first came out, and I mean, to get to get Elementium Ore, you, in the beginning it's kind of hard, but since there's no flying mounts, you know, it's first comes first serve when the game comes out. But that's also if I'm there due to my medical conditions, I might have to be, I might not be there, or be, I might be sick on the day I missed the Pandaria, which, which kind of sucks, and I have to be prepared for, so that's why I haven't stockpiled as hardcore as I wanted to, but I do have the chance of not making it to Mr. Pandaria. But then again, there is also a chance that I will make it for Mr. Pandaria. You know, me, I'm going to be sitting on my ass, you know, August, I mean not August, September 25th, on that computer screen, spamming that login. 
I'm probably gonna get the digital download just to avoid going to GameStop and being hassled for pre-orders because I can't stand GameStop anymore. <laughs> it's like the worst. I mean, there, there's some nice workers at GameStop, but then the problem is since they have to abide by company rules, like they have to sell you that pre-ordering crap. And then, if, and then if you get that GameStop employee who's been there for a long time and just gave up on answering, you know, just gives up. You can tell when they have that nasty attitude at GameStop. I've been a couple of those. And it's like, oh, I don't want your pre-order. It's like, you know, every time I buy wild game time at GameStop, I'm like, do you want to pre-order Mr. Pandaria? I'm like, no. Just no. Alright, let's see. How am I doing now? Whoa, holy crap. 50 people just came out of nowhere. Oh, no. Berserk, come on. Oh, no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Nice. I'll take you with me. Alright, I got one guy with me. Once you wasted that berserk above. Let's see what's going on. They're trying to grab the flag. Oh, run! You can do it! Oh, he's at low health. Oh, that's on the heal that guy. Red flag returned. The rogues, man. This is what I hate about the wall of BGs. The rogues will just rape you. Oh, no. Forget it. It's like 50. Oh, they caught up to him. Let's see. Let's get back in that action. Oop. Let's see a mage. Let's get him two shots. I really need the heirloom bow. I don't have the heirloom bow. I'm using like some crappy green bow. I really could use that. Here's the warrior again. In the close range, I'm gonna stab him with my dull wield dagger. Let's get him in the range in front of it. Thank you. There you go. 64 critical shank. That's what I like. I gotta give her this priest while he heals up. Priest is down. And we got a fire mate. Wait, what is that? Soul fire. Oh, it's a lock. See, I don't remember my classes as well. Knowing your classes actually helps out a lot in PvP. I mean, even though I don't do hardcore arenas or anything, but since I've played every class, I kind of know what everybody does. So everybody does the same stuff. Of course, this will change in Mr. Pandaria. So that's why I need to try out all my classes when 5.0.4 comes out, just to see what changes at them. You know, what can I expect? Cause you know, you know how you play a class, you know exactly what they're doing. Like an arcane mage is gonna spam, arcane blast. Uh, what do you call it? Hunters, marksman hunters, of course, gonna try to get stun units aim shot. Not this low low. It doesn't seem like I've seen any. Oh, you stole my power up, you bastard. <laughs> like I love the berserk power up. All right, let's see. Ally sucks balls. He's trying to grab the flag. It's time to kill him. Let's wait. And he should be coming out. Oh, who's this? And who's that? Oh, I thought I got sat by a rogue or something. Right, I'm gonna die to the lock DOT, unfortunately. We're actually. Will I die? Nope, nice. Alright, I'm gonna just get out of combat, and this thing's whooping my ass. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no! Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That was luck, and I have 3 HP and no heals. Nothing to heal. I need to buy some food. That's what I need to do. Oh god, not this guy. The minute he sees me, I'm gonna die. Let's get downstairs really quick. And there you go. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid him. He's probably looking for me like, where'd he go? Ally sucks balls. I still don't see him. I mean, he must have passed me. Oh, yes, he did. Let's see, where's Ally sucks balls? Where's he at? No, wait, he's this way. Wrong way. <laughs> Look at this rogue, man. This is such a fail rogue. I was gonna use Shadow Step, though, if he pays attention. Then again, he's not gonna pay attention. Alright, sweet. Alright, where's Ally sucks balls? Oh, he's coming up over here. Let's go. Hit him in the balls, shall we? Oh, the healer is after him. Hold on a second, let's go around. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see, I just gotta stop the healer from getting near the flag, and hopefully my teammates will, um, what do you call it, do what they need to do. Nice. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, that wasn't him? Rolled. I thought I was killing that priest. I was wondering why is he using flag pen? Dropped. Blue flag returned. It's nice, come on, let's go. I'm gonna go protect the flag carrier. Let's see, actually if we can cap this, we can stall it and win. And I'm actually pretty good at stalling. 
and not to mention some good class we stole. Definitely a good idea. Come on, let's go back up my buddy. Let's go, Cassie. What's his name? Cassia Brook. Move that ass. My elephant will stomp any motherfucker that comes over here. I wish I had aspect of the pack. That would definitely be very good right now. Let's see, do I have it? Let's look. No, I don't. Alright, that sucks. Let me get up ahead. Just in case somebody tries to get Get the speed boost! Wow! How much you wanna bet that that speed boost is gonna fuck us over? Let's see. Right, I don't see anybody, so I think we're good. Also, I'm not tracking humanoids. Wow, I feel like a fail right now. I have been tracking humanoids this entire time. And level 25, so now I'm OP'd. I'm super OP'd in this. And new talent points. Ooh, let's see what we can get. Alright, Ice Trap Tart. Ooh, who's this? Oh, watch out, buddy. Alright, let's see. Trap Mastery. Hmm. Mostly traps, though. I'm not really interested in this. I guess I'll take survival tactics. Why not? And here goes. Uh, what is this? That priest again? Alright, let's interrupt his heals. So I'm gonna miss knowing what people do at the low levels. Like, it's so predictable when the priest is gonna heal, how to counter it. There'll be so much learning in Mr. area. But, you know, it's, it's, the, I like the new talents, though. The new talents are definitely gonna be a welcome change. I mean, hopefully nobody Double figures kill. out, you know, hopefully it's not broken. And, you know, nobody figures out, you know, the meta talents are the best talents to get. Because at the moment, it doesn't really seem like, wow, holy shit. This guy's going in for the second cap already. That was quick. So hopefully nobody finds out any meta talents and... It's what Blizzard is intended to do is you just pick talents for fun. Now, of course, there's some PvP-oriented talents and some PvP-oriented talents, but it looks like you can just pick whatever you want, mostly. So I, I definitely want to do some wacky PvP combos. I just pick some st the stupidest talents I can think of just to see how it works in PvP. And three minutes left, he capped it, right? So I need one more cap to win. Yeah, great teamwork, somebody says, yes. Ooh, 35 and... 39 and 5. Holy crap, let's go for 40. Come on, number 40. I see you right there, come on. Please be my 40th kill. Oh, I think he... Oh, playing hands. Oh, this guy, I didn't see him. Alright, now I can kill this guy. Nice, 40 kills. Never got 40 kills before on a twink. Sweet. And we still got two minutes to fuck shit up. Alright, let's get Ally Sucks Balls again. I'm not a fan of him. You little horde fanboy. Coming after you. Oh shit, I shot? Oh, I didn't notice I shot. That was by accident. Oh, shank. oh I wanted to shank him last second. Pet resist. Alright, there goes Ally Sucks Balls. He has... Oh, my pet took him out. Sweet. Good job, Wolf. I don't, I don't use the pet that much. That's why... I... I kinda suck at hunters because you gotta use the pet so much. I don't like using the pet. I don't know why I don't like using the pet, but I should probably start using the pet. Like all I know is you're supposed to put it on passive so it doesn't get destroyed in two seconds, but I'm not a big fan of pets. Massacre. Massacre again. Alright, so we have one minute left and for anybody who stayed for an entire video, I'd like to thank you because it's actually probably been one of my longest WoW videos, if not ever, then in a freaking long while, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more wild videos. I do not make as many wild videos as I used to. I'll be honest with you guys, but of course when Mr. Pandaria comes out, my interest in wild course will probably come back up. But it should be pretty fun, so thanks for watching as always. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs it up. If you have any questions, you know, any decent questions, then feel free to ask and I'll respond to them. I used to answer every question everybody asked me, but sometimes, you know, you get, it gets overwhelming when people ask the same questions 50 times. Or if people try to troll, because since I started making DayZ videos, the trolls have been coming out by the millions, so I get so many troll questions, and it, it's like, oh man, and then you got the trolls fight with each other, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a vlog that should be coming up this week, That's it's a fun thing to talk about the trolls, why not? So let's see, 42 and 5, alright, sweet, so thanks for watching, see you guys next time.